Okay guys, welcome back. We are just headed out. We got a late start of the day. Uh, we wanted to show you what Zakopane was like in the night with all the lights and go up to the mountain, top of the mountain and show you up there with all the lights and the view in the night. However, the weather's taking a turn for the worse. It is raining a little bit and it's really misty. So we can't even see the mountains in the distance. We can't see the mountain that we want to go up either. Uh, it's really drizzly horrible rain and normally like you said at the top of the mountain you could see all the christmas lights but you can not see anything at all no so instead we're going to take a walk around the town in the night and show you the main strip um, and what that's like and hopefully we can do this the video we plan to do tomorrow but our first stop is coming up and it is the zakopane sign it looks like some of the lights aren't working <laughs> are they all well you, you get the gist Facing all the lights And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby I really want to make you mine I don't really care about love I don't really care about happy ever after Okay, it is rush hour on a Friday So there's loads of traffic on the road at the moment um, But look how cool this restaurant looks And loads of them kind of look like this with the, uh, the classic like timber frame houses with the uh, triangle shape. And all the, the lights outside and stuff just make it look even better. Yeah. Oh, that smells so good as well. It does. Okay, as you can see, we've passed loads of restaurants and bars. Uh, that's one of the main roads going through the town, but it's not where the centre is or like the main strip. So we're going to walk this way now and head towards there, and that's where all the restaurants are. Hopefully, it'll be a bit more lively because it is a Friday. However, we have read that a lot of people uh, had to cancel their reservations here due to sort of the uncertainty with COVID and everything. So normally it would have been a lot busier during this time, but unfortunately COVID sort of put everything up in the air really, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, we are on the main strip now. Uh, there seems to be a few more people about than there has been, especially just up there by some of the restaurants and stuff. We're going to just walk down and just give you a bit of a tour of the main strip by the night and just see how it goes yeah this is like the top of the strip now you can see there there are just some restaurants and some bars and stuff some places are still closed because of obviously the uh, lack of tourists here at the moment but most places are open which is still nice to see we've got this stall selling these like potato wheel things which Kelsey really wants to try I've already got an exciting video film tomorrow so stay tuned yeah we're going to be trying street food tomorrow i'm so excited uh we've got a few things in mind that we want to try so we will be doing that tomorrow afternoon hopefully we'll be out before it's dark as well i've waited a long time for one of those two things some sort of arcade game here and another hot, a hot dog place yeah there still seems to be a lot going on um loads of souvenir shops Loads of uh, like stalls selling foods, and then just loads of restaurants, and bars as well. And there's also retail shops all the way down. But look how cool that looks! The mall looks so pretty in the night. Close, but we're strangers. Feel like we're far apart. Down, 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 down
Okay, they seem to have this Sphinx restaurant everywhere. They seem to have it in like the big cities, they seem to have it in shopping centers. They even got you here. Must be a really popular thing. I'm pretty sure they had it in Bulgaria as well. I think they did, yeah. I you're might right. be wrong, but pretty sure I've seen it there. Okay, we found the coolest little shop in the street. There's like loads of sports shops and just normal retail shops in there. Uh, we walked through now to show you, but it looks super cool. It's like it all. Does. I can't, is it outdoors? It is outdoors, but in the night, we'll show you now. The see, they've got like lights all across the top, so it looks like it's indoors, but it is actually outdoors. Yeah, it looks like they've tried to make it like a indoor, indoor outdoor, outdoor kind of thing. We'll show you now. Okay, so this cool looking restaurant here is on the end of this little shopping street. There's a big menu and it's got English, we can go through it a little bit. Starters, you're looking, oh, it looks a bit more. I know, I was just gonna say it looks a little bit more expensive than what we've seen. Yeah, starters, you're looking at about, well, like four to six pounds. It does like that. sound a little bit more fancy, like you can have a chopped deer with truffle mayonnaise and quail eggs. So I think it is a bit more high end, a bit more fancy. Mains, you're looking at like eight to, or like seven to, what's 85, about 50, 16 pounds. So it's not too bad actually. Is, yeah, if you considered it in comparison to a lot of other countries, it is still really, really cheap for what you get. But this is just more sort of expensive compared to the ones we've seen already, which was like three, five pounds for a main meal. Yeah, it's definitely affordable especially for like a really nice it looks really nice restaurant yeah um but yeah for example i think the most expensive thing here is the lamb shank and we think it's about 16 pound it works out does Okay, we've just come underneath the road, we're just coming up the other side to where the, um, like, all the hats are. We don't know if it's going to be open. We figured out as well that that market is there all the time. It's not a Christmas thing, it is there, open, all the time. Is it? Yeah. Oh, where did you see that? Uh, I think I was watching a video and um, it showed that they'd gone to the market. Oh, like in the summer? Yeah. Oh, fair. Um, it looks open anyway. Yeah, so. it looks like uh, they've got lights on inside the little huts, so. Yeah, with the amount of like restaurants and huts and stuff, like tourist stuff here, you could just imagine like before COVID in the summer or even in the winter, how busy this place could be. Yeah, it's a real shame that it's affected the tourism so much. Yeah. But hopefully things don't get worse and it only gets better from here. Yeah, we'll have to come back as well in like the summer Hopefully when this is all blown over and we can see just how popular this place actually is. Yeah. And it'd be cool to do some of the hikes as I mentioned in another video. Definitely. Uh, in the summer so we can see the views and have the sun. Okay, I take back what I said. It does look as if some of them are closing. So it could be five o'clock, I think, that they start to close up, which is understandable. We've 
just walked down through the market to this area now, but we're, this is normally where you catch the cable car up to the top of the mountain, but we're not going to do this today because even down here, you can normally see the lights really bright on top of the mountain, but you can't see them at all. So we're going to give that a miss for today and hopefully do it tomorrow. So we've walked past a food restaurant now and we spot some burgers and that's really made us fancy some burgers. So we're going to head to the supermarket now and hopefully we'll be able to find some burgers. Yeah, hopefully they've got some, fingers crossed. We're going to have burgers and chips, hopefully. We're just heading in this store now, uh, which is like a beauty, health and beauty shop. I seen an advert on the TV that said there was some discounts and I need some new foundation, so we're gonna go and have a look. Yeah, we got back to the apartment and we just put food in straight away. We've just got some burgers and chips. Uh, we're just gonna chill out for the rest of the evening, I think. And we're watching the only English channel we've got, which is Comedy Central, and it's just showing Friends and Big Bang Theory. There's nothing else. Um, and then it goes back to Polish at about 11 o'clock in the evening. Uh, so that's when we just put Netflix on the laptop and we just chill out and watch that. Yeah, I think we're going to end it here. Yeah, and um, we'll pick it up again for a street food video tomorrow.